the tire fly that I invented uh, for use in the Mayfly as a top dropper when you're pulling wets. And this one is called uh, the Pickrick Tippet Muddler. So a little bit of super glue just on my tying thread. Start that off and wrap back to the bend. Now for the tail on this one I'm going to use a uh, crystal hair but this is a mirage crystal hair and it's in a sort of orangey yellow colour. So you want to take a, take a strand out of that and then double it up on itself. Now it depends on what size of fly you're tying as to how many strands you want. This is uh, size 8 B160 here which is equivalent to about a size 10 standard. So I've got two fibres and then what I'm going to do is fold them back and wrap back to the bend. Now I'm going to cut those off pretty short because it really only has a bit of a flash in the tail attraction. So there we go. Now uh, for the rib on this one I'm going to use a bit of gold opal. So tie that in on this side and again go back to the bend and add a bit of wax onto uh, the thread. Now the dubbing on this one is this which is a mixture of uh, picric and golden olive and also there's a bit of glister in there. Don't need a, a lot of it because we're having a fairly short body on this one. And make a dubbing rope and wrap that a little bit over halfway, maybe two thirds of the body. So now, for a uh, hack of this one, I'm going to use a grizzle, which has been dyed a sort of fluorescent -y olive colour. Take a tackle, cut it off near the base, then I'm going to put that on and wrap it rearwards. I also like to use a, a dyed Cree hackle for this because I think the brown in it gives a nice effect. Break my hackle. Number of turns up yourself depends how bushy a fly you want. I'm going to go for about three or so. And then at this point, take my rib over it and then wind the rib forward. You see, by doing this undulating motion, it avoids tying down your fibres. Tie that in. Now, rest of the hackle, nip it off. And then remove the excess rib. I'm just going to force those hackles back on themselves. Now, the reason it's called a Pickrick Tippet Muddler is because I'm going to use a small tippet that I have dyed in picric acid. If you don't like picric acid, you can use uh, fluorescent yellow mixed with olive. It'll give you a similar enough. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking it by the very tip and then I am folding it back just to take all the fibers back. Now I'm going to tie that on on the near side to me just with that little tip pointing back and then I'm going to fold the hackle back on itself and wrap it over and that will secure it in. 
Now these hackles are very prone to breaking so hopefully that doesn't happen. So put on the hackle pliers and then as I wrap it through my fingers it will double this as I go and it will create a straggly sort of bumble effect. of this again as a sort of fake hackle. So I want those quite long to meld in with my tippet fibers. I'm going to set that on, so I've squashed it between my thumb and forefinger, it sort of widens it out a bit. And then as I apply that on and swap hands, it should envelop the whole hook. So now I'm going to place on Two loose wraps, take my scissors and cut off roughly level with the front of the eye, maybe a little bit in front of it. Now, as I pull tight on that and wrap it, it should envelop the whole hook and make me a sort of automatic muddler head. I put on a half hitch and then another in front of that and use your nails to force the finished laps back. Cut that off and then again I'm going to use A little bit of watery super glue on my dubbing needle. I'm going to pull that head back and I'm going to apply that in to the side of the head and again here. And then I'm just going to stroke back. The head. And there you have it. That's basically a, a top dropper fly for the mayfly and that's actually my biggest wild brown trout came on this fly. Uh, it doesn't necessarily look like a mayfly but uh, just seems to be the, the colour combination of it works well as a top dropper. So, and the muddler head means that you can get a little bit of wake on it and uh, it works for me and I've had a few people use it on Loch Erne as well and uh, they said it worked well for them there too.